Hi everyone, so I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be really different because I'm actually going to be explaining some things to you as you guys can already tell by the title. I went ahead and I wrote everything down that I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video in particular because I wanted to just stay um, on a path like a safe way for me um, because... I'm going to just explain some things to you about me and my channel here and basically what's been going on with YouTube as the reason why that people are getting these emails and so forth from my understanding and perspective of the whole thing. So hopefully this will help a lot of you guys out out there that have YouTube channels and for those of you that don't have YouTube channels but you do watch a lot of YouTubers, this video is also going to be informative to you as well because you can actually, hopefully I'll give you some tips so you will know if people are really giving you truthful reviews or if they are scamming you um, basically um, for their benefit. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is an email. Now a lot of people received um, emails from different partnerships. So first off, let me start off by saying I am partnered. I have been partnered ever since January of this year with Style Hall. Let me even go back further than this, guys. Basically, the reason why I started YouTube is because I didn't see ladies on here like me. And when I say that, I mean my color, my ethnicity, um, with features like me. I didn't see people with my kind of hair on here. And to be honest with you, the industry was basically predominantly Caucasian. Um, of course, you had some of your, um, you had some Asians, a couple of Hispanics, but you really didn't see a whole lot of black girls um, here on YouTube. Now, looking back now, I see that there was some out there, but those weren't the channels that were really being promoted at the time that I joined YouTube. It was mostly um, your Elle and Blair Fowler. They were on here. Um, you know, videos like that, Candy Johnson was really being sponsored on a lot of different things. Those YouTubers that basically made YouTube what it is. And so that was the reason why I started YouTube. It's because I wanted to put information out there for people like me and in my age range and so forth. And that was the reason why I started YouTube. Now, one of my things when I started YouTube is I wanted to become a Style Hall partner. Now, Style Hall has changed a lot from what it used to be. Um, it used to be a thing where they would actually have um, the partners come on the channel and they would promote other channels and, and so forth. And it just used to be um, a really different community than actually what Style Hall is now. Also, when I first got started on YouTube, like I was saying earlier, that banners were a really big thing then. Um, of course, you wanted to see your name in banner because that was just like you had officially made it. Um, the way it is now that everyone and anyone can get a banner, it's not a big deal anymore. Um, that was one of the perks that you only got when you were once you became partner and another perk that you also got when you became partner is like you could do 15 minute videos so you could do longer videos um, the more advanced you became with your YouTube career so those were all reasons why I wanted to be on here and plus I came in with the hopes and dreams that I would review products and maybe someday make it big enough where I could join Style Hall um, become partner and just be well known here on YouTube well as luck would have it, not everything works out the way we want it to, but I can say that I am partnered with Style Hall. Um, and like I said, that happened this year, and I'm proud of it, but I don't tend to mention it or brag about it or anything like that because nowadays pretty much anyone can get partnered on any channel, on any station. Um, or any network basically it just all depends on what that particular um, network or group is looking for um, in your channel or in general so that's basically the whole spiel another reason why I really don't mention that I'm partnered a lot is because some people don't like to know that information sometimes people think less of you because you get paid to make YouTube videos um, and and so forth yes I do get paid to make videos guys but in me saying that, it's not a whole lot. It's chump change. Um, but I'm happy, I mean, that I get something. It's just a little something. It's not a whole lot. I'm not getting thousands and thousands of dollars and so forth. And 
even if I was, I couldn't even tell you guys because I'm not allowed to discuss it um, due by my contract. We are in a legally binding contract and anyone that is partnered is under a legally binding contract. So that means a lot of things that you might want to know we are not allowed to tell you guys because in some cases everyone's contract is different and they also make contracts customizable to different people and their channels. Um, so that explains that now about this email partners were getting the emails if you're not partnered then nine chances out of ten you probably did not receive an email and basically my understanding of that email was that um people when you're partnered now this is with some people it's not with all partnerships but some people do get paid per click or like or um, they get paid by subscribers or views those are things that we get paid by here on YouTube okay and I'm just not saying that's what I'm getting paid by but I'm just saying those are some of the quite the criteria that these partnerships look for um, they look at your views your counts and so forth like that anyone even if you're just partnered or you have Google Adsense I think you have a little analytics page or something like that that you can go on and you can actually see um, your views and, and all that stuff that's nothing new back to the whole thing with the email the email was basically saying that for those people that host contest you cannot tell people to like the videos in those contests now does that mean you can't tell people to like your video yes you can still tell people to like comment and subscribe and all that good stuff that doesn't have anything to do with it um, all it's actually saying is that if you do a contest you cannot tell people um, in order to win this contest you must like favorite and all of that stuff this video um, the reason for that is because like I said before some people do get paid for their likes and if you have a contest and you're allowing them to enter as many times as they want a day even though they can't click that like button as many times as they would like to I think you can only click it once they are still getting paid um, from those clicks so even though they're giving you away maybe a $50 gift if you're giving them 25,000 likes well you do the math depending on how much they get paid um, per like so that's the the whole thing there um, and I do understand it people doing that also you have some people that will be in their videos and they'll say go ahead and like this video if da 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 or like this video and sometimes people would just throw out the likes just for no apparent reason at all but just to let you guys know in most cases some viewers are getting paid if they're in a partnership for their likes and like I said you get paid for likes um, some people get paid for subscribers some people get paid by the views and everyone's contract can be different it depending on how many subscribers and so forth that they have so that just hopefully cleared up a little bit about that so to sum it all up yes you can have contest however you cannot tell people to like the contest video um, so that's the only thing that you really can't do you can tell them to subscribe to your channel of course you can say you're only doing a giveaway for your subscribers and that's fine but you just can't tell the people to like your video um, for a contest okay so the next thing um, I wanted to talk to you about I guess I kind of gave you the whole um, let's go back to this whole partner thing again okay so I've told you basically how you can get paid um, by likes clicks and all that different stuff on your YouTube channel basically but now what I'm gonna tell you about is um, also another thing that I noticed is sponsored videos now a lot of people I advise all of you every single one of you to make sure you read the description box because in a lot of these videos that can be reviews of products or whatever you will see that the videos are sponsored um, a sponsored video means that the company has actually sent you the products or they have paid you some kind of compensation for you to review a product for them. Now, as I have always stated here on my channel and I will continue to state, um, I have in my little description box that I do not accept compensation for positive reviews. And I don't. I will never do that, you guys. If I ever have a sponsored video on my channel, I will let you guys know that it is sponsored. I want you guys to know it. I would be happy if it was sponsored. I want you guys to know it. And always remember that I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So whether or not the company agrees with what I'm saying about their product, that's on them. But I want you guys 
to have my honest opinion because anytime that you're out there spending your hard-earned cash and my reputation's on the line with my YouTube channel, then I want you guys to know everything that I know about that particular product. Now, in saying that, I will say this. Yes, everything that works for me is not going to necessarily work for you. Every single person is different, but at the same time, I want you guys to have the knowledge of what I can provide for you for you to make the best judgment call for yourself. And so if I think a product is crap, I'm going to tell you the reason why I think it's crap. Or if I think something is wonderful, I'm going to tell you guys why I think it's wonderful. Um, because I want you to know, like I've already stated, and I don't want you to go out here and spend your hard-earned money on something that is not worth it. And I'm not going to put my reputation on the line here with you guys because I want to always be honest, 100% honest with my viewers. And that's my policy because I cannot stand when a person looks me in the face and lies to me and I know they're lying to me. That That's just the worst feeling in the world for me. So I would never do that to you guys. I want to always remain 100% you guys and just to let you guys know my honest and truthful opinion here on my channel so I can't say that about everyone but I can definitely say it about mine um, also like I said make sure you always read the description boxes another thing I want to tell you is another way you can tell if a video is sponsored is by watching other youtubers videos you just need to be your own best judge of character also just kind of keep an eye out on those links you know when people say oh i'll have everything i'm wearing down in the down bar below if they have a little link that you can actually click on and see the picture nine chances out of ten they're probably getting paid per click um some people would do it for the kindness of their heart um amazon has something now where um, if you send them to your Amazon page or whatever, they can pull it up there and then you get paid for it. So there are just a lot of different ways. Sometimes I feel that um, vloggers are actually tricking their subscribers. So just make sure you guys, you stay on top of that and that you are being mindful and that you're watching out. Because sometimes you do get paid, they get paid some kind of compensation for clicks. Or either once you complete the transaction, then they get paid like that. Um, number three my third reason would be if you just see something on here that doesn't look right there was a girl that she just did a video to me that was out of the blue I wasn't expecting the video and what she was saying I was just like who would really do that and it didn't make any sense and then as I said before make sure you watch a different variety of youtubers on here and I clicked on someone from a different background different culture and basically she had the same thing in her video coincidence I think not not everything basically all the same so just kind of keep an eye on a uh, eye out on that sometimes people will actually go to my likes and um they'll actually get video ideas and there's nothing wrong with doing that if you don't know what to make a video on but at the same time it's like i think you have like little sponsored links or something like that that you do have to put in there another thing that i was saying that i'm going to kind of wrap this all up for you guys is that um copyrighted music is another thing i want to talk to you guys about too with copyrighted music, the whole thing with that is, is you're not supposed to use it. If you don't own it, if you didn't create it, if you didn't put the vocals on it, you didn't put the beats on it or whatever, it's not yours, you don't own it. Okay, it's just that plain and simple. Um, you will see people here on YouTube that will take, um, I think, it was, I'm trying to think of your name, hon. Um, Naja, Naja Wan's World, excuse me if I pronounced the name wrong. But she was saying that she heard someone using TLC, okay? Um, I'm going to give you my own personal story on this. I used a song from TLC. It was just the introduction. They didn't say any words or anything, and I got flagged for doing that. You cannot use any music on here that you do not own. Even if it's the five seconds and you think you won't get charged with it, you will. YouTube has the right to take down your channel and that video. They can suspend your um, your license, I think, after three, um, three times that you do it or whatever. So just be mindful of that. You cannot use music that's not yours. If you do use music, you need to make sure that... Um, you pay someone for the song meaning you cannot get anything off itunes and call it that say you've paid someone for it you can't you can't do that 
What I mean by that is you contact the owner, you tell the owner you want to buy all the rights of the song, including the music. That's what I mean by that. Another thing you can do is you can um, use YouTube music. YouTube gives you a library of free music. If you need to put music in your videos, you can use that. There are many um, different other sites that you can go to as well, but you just need to make sure that they have released the copyright on that, meaning that you are allowed to use the music. Also, um, most of the time, if you find a song that you like, and if it's not like a big artist like Jay-Z or somebody like that, um, if you find that somebody here on YouTube and you like their music and you like the way they write and sing and all that different stuff, you can usually get in contact with them through by their YouTube page like that and just get permission to use the song and tell them what you're going to be using the song for and that will work as well. Um, da -da 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 -da. Hopefully, I think that was pretty much everything. Copyrighted music. Yeah, I think that's pretty much everything, you guys. I know this was a longer video, but I kind of just wanted to go through and explain a bunch of different things with you guys because I feel that there's just so much mis misinformation out there. So hopefully I cleared up a couple of things for you guys. Remember to always read the description box. It's the biggest piece of information I can give you. Also, another little snippet on that, and then I'm going to close out the video. These people that are partnered and they do sponsored videos and they don't tell you guys that the videos are sponsored. When you're partnered, there is, in order for you to get paid for that video, you have a box that you have to click. And in that box, it answers you if the video is sponsored or if it has any um, different type of material in there like copyrighted material. We get strikes and stuff for that too. Um, now some people can use music. I don't know what partnership it's with, but one of them, they actually can use other music and they don't get charged for it. Different partnerships require different things. Um, a rule of thumb, I would just tell you to follow the, um, the guidelines that I just gave you basically on the copyrighted music. So there you guys have it. I hope the video was informative for you guys that wanted to know a little bit about what was going on. I know it's a longer video and I apologize for that, but I love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys again on Monday. Bye!